The suspect is behind bars tonight at the Jasper County Jail. Investigators are not releasing his name until a judge arraigns him Friday morning on a threat charge. But we know what he looks like. These are pictures of the man our news partner KJAS Radio took within the past hour or so. You can see Jasper County Sheriff Mitchell Newman walking the 32-year-old suspect into the Jasper County Jail. Deputies, ATF agents, and the U.S. Marshals Service arrested the man this morning at his home in Harris County. He faces a charge of making a terroristic threat at a public place. If convicted, the suspect could face up to two years in a state jail. Investigators say they're not ready to reveal how the man threatened the district or what he said in his threat. KFDM's Haley Bull explains, while parents are waiting for more information, they support the decision to cancel school in Evadale. Idle school buses, deserted parking lots, empty classrooms. Crazy times we're living in today. Um, you know, you don't think it's going to happen in your small community. The Evadale School District community shuddered for the day. The result of a terroristic threat. Jasper County deputies have arrested this man accused of making the threat. You hear about it on the news and other schools. When it happens to yours, um, you know, you're kind of shocked, you know. Jeff Williams is the parent of a fourth grader. Had the day gone as planned, she would have enjoyed Christmas parties until early dismissal for the holiday break. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, the kids' safety comes first. With safety in mind, administrators canceled classes. In this day and time, we have to take every threat seriously. Uh, you know, probably 10 years ago or so, we, we may have not have, have gone to this extreme, but with all the, the recent things that have happened, not only uh, in Texas, but in other states as well, the safety of our kids is, is paramount. Superintendent Gary Fairchild sent an automated telephone message to parents, alerting them of the threat. Uh, for, for lack of being, I told them to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's not really the way you want to end school, but you know, for the holidays, but that's just the, the nature of where we were at at that time. Students with extra time for vacation, deputies keeping watch over just about empty campuses. We're checking the doors, we're checking the, the outside of the area, and anything that looks out of the ordinary, we're going to stop and, and talk with the people that we find here. Deputies making sure the campuses are secured, Constable Joe Sterling patrolling the area as he does every day. I will be just as alert as we always were. We always look at the safety aspect for these children at these schools on a daily basis. Now and when students return, a comforting thought for parents. I feel perfectly safe with my daughter coming here. Even in the wake of a threat that will keep his daughter and other students away until after the holiday break. In Evadale, Haley Bull, KFTM 6 News. Investigators say the same threat also prompted the Warren School District to send students home early today. They're not publicly revealing how the threat is linked to Warren School.